these are some of our add-ons and I'll buzz through these quickly. We have things like advanced asset management that allow you to do tool crib check at check in and check out. It allows you to do kind of work order kitting, which means kind of kit the spare parts together before the technician comes to the tool uh, to the crib to get all the parts. So you already have them. So you don't have to go pick them off the shelves. Um, you know, while he's standing there, it's already picked. Uh, we have things like, uh, you know, shut down, turn around and outage modules. A lot of manufacturers will only shut down twice a year, but when they shut down uh, at the 4th of July for a week, there's a lot of work that has to be done while those machines are off and out of production. And you have to plan that very, very carefully right down to the minute. And that's what this module does. You know, about the mobile client, we're going to look at that quite, quite a bit. We also have a scheduling board or a planning board, which allows drag and drop scheduling. Uh, this is just what you think it is. It's you, you drag things from the right side to the person and it schedules it for them. Scheduling in the base module is very clunky and a lot of people don't like to do it. So this is a module that's created because of a kind of a hole in the base, in the base product. Service portal really lets uh, anyone in the organization enter a work request. If I'm a secretary, I don't own a license to our product or to Microsoft's uh, ERP product, but hey, my chair is squeaky and somebody better come fix it right now. I can enter a work request and that can be, uh, you know, that can be done. And we do have an analytics module, which is basically a dashboarding module, which allows you to build your own dashboards and how to, uh, especially for uh, asset data.